It's Taste Pink and I'm here to reveal the tea on her given hair with their curly clip-ins. Honey, you definitely don't want to miss it because some of you guys think that YouTubers get better clip-ins, but honey, I got a whole different person to purchase these clip-ins so we can make sure it's consistent. So stick around for the tea and the style that we're doing today is so simplistic, but I love their clip-ins, their human hair, and there's so much that you can do with it. They're super versatile, but for this updo style today, which some of you requested, I'm definitely going to deliver the sledge. So make sure you keep on watching. So my hair is blow dried. Yes, sis. Okay. Hair is growing. It's getting a lot longer than I'm accustomed to, but I'm trying to stick it out and not cut it. So the first thing that I'm going to do is create this part and I'm going to start it just above the ears and I want it to span the entire length of the crown. So this is going to be like the halfway point. Again, you know, I struggle with parting. So if you need help with this, I highly encourage it. But you guys are going to see we're going to invent something called abstract parts. But for right now, this part is hitting because it's, it's not going to always be like this. So I have what I like to call abstract parting. You're like, OK, crooked parts matter, too. But with abstract parting, we're not aiming for perfection. And what I'm also doing is applying gel or the edge booster. I really love that. And I apply that in the section of my parts to make it a bit neater. If you're on your own, I highly recommend using some sort of gel or something to help the rat tail kind of slide through the hair and make sure that you know your roots especially are detangled as it'll make it so much easier. And I don't have time for all the mirrors and stuff, especially when I'm recording, says I was trying to keep it simple. But, you know, I went into the bathroom to double check, but I'm going to use a rubber band to secure this section. And this is also a rubber band that has been saturated with apricot oil as a protective measure to make sure that I'm not increasing the likelihood of breakage. Trust me, saturating the rubber bands in oil definitely works. And I've been doing that for a while and I definitely recommend it. So I wanted to create about four to five sections. This became progressively harder. But I'm not gonna lie to you, this part, this was the last part that pretty much came out perfect. You definitely want to use a small tooth comb to help distribute the gel across the section so that it lays flatter and it looks a lot neater. But now I'm on the final section and ooh, Chile, okay? That part at the crown got a little messed up. I'm not going to be too harsh with myself. You know, the part got a little messed up. It's cool, but we're almost done and the magic is just beginning so next with apricot oil i'm going to apply this to the section at the front and you definitely want to make sure that you moisturize your hair prior to applying the gel this is going to help to create a more sleek and polished look. Remember, moisture plus hold equals super sleek and polished. And once the ponytail was secured, I just went back in and brushed the gel through the section. Now at the back, this is where it gets intense. Next, I'm going to take the end of the section at the bottom and place it into the mouth of a latch hook. And I'm gonna pull it through the loop of a braid that I created. And I'm going to take that section, secure the braid against the scalp, and then begin twisting the ends of the hair upward into each other. You want to make sure that the twist is extremely, you know, tight, but still comfortable. You don't want it to be too tight where it's uncomfortable. Definitely be careful. And I'm going to twist it towards the front and I'm going to wrap it around my bun and secure it with a scrunchie. Uh, uh, uh. 
And then next I'm gonna take that braid and you know how people braid upward. I can't do that. So we're gonna take the braid, pull it upward and bobby pin it into place so that we're hiding the twist underneath. You have to be super strategic and use pins, you know, in key places at the base, at the midpoint, and then at the top. You don't really have to do too many. Now, before we get into the installation, I wanted to show you guys a side by side comparison using the newly purchased clip ins versus the previously installed clip ins. And you guys can see that I've worked with her given here in the past. I have several videos. So if you'd like to see that, definitely click the links in the description box. But I started off by co washing the previously used clip ins. I like to co wash them and use a very hydrating condition and the curls are going to pop but because these are previously used you can expect shedding i do style a bit more aggressively so again there might be a little bit more shed hairs than normal and you guys can see i'm also going to co-wash the newly purchased clip-ins and with these clip-ins you aren't going to receive the same amount of shedding because you haven't yet went in to detangle or style them so i want you guys to know like there is some shedding but it's nothing excessive and so you guys can do heat styling you can allow these to air dry you can even bleach them you have so many options but i just wanted you guys to see this and get the true tea but let's get back into the tutorial and so once I'm at the top near the crown, I'm gonna start placing the clip-ins. I like to open up the clips on the ends when I'm doing styles like this, especially for like a high puff or a fine apple as they may call it. I only open the clips at the end and I feel like it makes it a lot easier when wrapping it because I don't have to worry about the open clips getting caught into the hair. But this hair is super springy like sis. With this type of hair, you can blow it out and then you can do like a perm rod set. You can use a curling wand to make tight curls. You have so much versatility within this. And the great thing is you can take it out at night if you wish. You could, you know, take this style and transform it into a high bun if you wish. And after fluffing the hair, I'm going to take the braid and wrap it around the base. So I disguise the wefts and you wanna wrap it pretty secure and you don't want it to be too tight and then bobby pin the ends into place. And then I'm gonna take the Pantene Curl Sculpting Gel and I'm gonna use this to add a little bit more definition and fluff out the hair. I did get a little bit of shedding, but again, when you get this hair, you definitely want to co-wash it because that will remove any excess shed hairs or just you know, random hairs that may be in it. And I did not get a lot of shedding. You can, again, use the sculpting gel to do a twist out. You can do a braid out. Again, you can blow this hair out, but I'm here to give you T-Sys. I highly recommend their clippings. I have so much experience with them. Be sure to check out my other clipping videos with her given hair. This is the 3B, 3C curly clippings and they give life sis. So how did I do on this style with the abstract parts? Let me know in the comment section below. Be sure to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up and share it with your homegirls. I hope to see you in the next one and be sure to check out Her Given Hair. I have all of the product links in the description box.